Hey guys, Multiclass the Gamer here. Welcome back to more. Let's play Crash Bandicoot: The Wrath of Cortex. In the previous episode, we had quite a bit of fun taking on Medieval Madness and uh, and Crash Droids. I think was it Crash Droids? I can't remember. I I, I know that one of the levels I took on the previous episode was Medieval Madness, and then we all know how much fun I had there. Okay, so in uh. Related news, we're going to be going to... Well, actually, not really related news. I don't know why I said that. Um, we're going to be taking on... Um, let's see. Let's do... Yeah, let's do that sinking feeling. Because I saw a couple of requests for this one. I don't know if they were from the same person. And if they're not, then I'm going to feel bad. Because there was one person who was also requesting... You know, the gauntlet over and over again. And because that was... I'm actually delaying it. You know, because... Uh, that's what happens when you guys request the same level for me over and over again. I'm just gonna delay it, you know, because that's part of the deal is that, you know, you just gotta pay attention to what I say in the videos. If I say you can't request the same level over and over again, you know, for the same person, then, you know, that's what's gonna happen, you know. But, um, anyways, let's, uh, on a more positive note, we're doing the, uh, speed. Well, actually, I don't know if it's a positive or not, because, you know, you guys know how much I love the speedruns of this, this game so far, you know, this whole in the relics and whatnot, you know, trying to rush our way to the levels, you know, it just, it hasn't really been working out so well for me so far in this Let's Play, because pretty much every single time we've done that in this Let's Play so far, it has not, let's just say it just hasn't been really enjoyable, okay? You know, getting the colored relics is one thing, you know, because, you know, it's still, it's not easy to get the colored relics, you know, especially when you have to go through those ridiculous secret areas of the levels, you know, it's, it's part of the pain of doing those, and maybe I should pick up some time boxes, it wouldn't, it wouldn't hurt so much. It'd be really, really nice if I started doing that now, because we need to start saving time here. And because of that, since I wasted so much time just trying to get those ships, probably not going to make it this first time, and also need some health. Why did that- okay, that had a red cross on it, why did it not heal me? Okay, well that did, okay, whatever. So what? So does that mean that if I get one that has a life on it, that means I don't get health? That doesn't make any sense, but whatever. I'm not going to complain too much. Aside from the fact that it doesn't make sense. Alright, um... See, so yeah, I just do what you did before, just this time you're on a rush, and you know how, how good that goes for me. And why does... Uh, stop trying to kill me, people! Do you really value your nation so much they're going to commit suicide just to kill me? Because frankly, it's not worth it. You know, if you're just, if many of you are committing suicide, just kill one person. It should not be worth it. It, just, it should not be, okay? Ugh. People, seriously. Okay. I'm just going to start shooting these guys down because this is getting ridiculous. Alright, come on, come on. Let's hurry up here. Two minutes is definitely not going to get us a relic, that's for sure. So let's just uh, switch between these uh, two ships. And that should get us to it. But probably not the relic. It wouldn't surprise me if we don't get it this time. Seriously, wouldn't? Oh god. We're not gonna get, are we? We're not. No, we're not, because I died. Jesus. Well, I, that's fine. We weren't gonna get it anyway, so I don't care. Alright. Okay. So, um... Let's see, what should I talk about in this episode? Well, first of all, it's raining. It's raining really hard. You know, because... Actually, it's, that's what it's like outside right now. Probably not. In the, well, actually, it's not raining in the game, but you know it is. It is in real life out here because uh, we actually just got. We just finished an entire week of complete sun, you know, and it was really, really hot last week. It, like I think it was Monday. You know, Monday we had it was like 81 degrees out here where I live, and it was just crazy. You know, so yeah, track practice was definitely not pleasant. You know, especially in this kind of weather, definitely not. But. You know, it, when it's raining, it, it's okay, you know, because at least it's not hot, you know. And if it is, if it is warm, because that does happen sometimes, like sometimes it can be really hot, you know, at the same time that it's, uh, you know, raining, like, could be, like, humid, I, I guess. I don't know. And you seriously need some health right here. Please, stop shooting me. Stop, stop, stop. Let me heal. Okay, thank you. God. Okay. Is it just me, or, or are these guys who are shooting me from the water taking more than one hit? This is what it's looking like. And I completely forgot to set the time. I'm going to have to commit suicide right here. I can't believe I forgot to set... Ugh. This is one of those stupid things I do, 
Okay, this is, this is one of the issues me doing this, having to remember to hit these, these watches. Okay, can we please die here, please? Kamikaze, come come kill me, please. Okay, I, I should I should not say that. It's probably gonna come to people. Okay, please. Dude, what are you doing? You were just come going out of your way to kill me before. Now you're not gonna do it? Are you kidding me? You're you're just not gonna do it because you know that I'm literally trying to die, so there you go. Thank you. God. It's about time someone killed me when I need them to. Okay. Now, let's hit that stopwatch, please, and thank you, wherever it is. There it is, okay. Alright. So, off we go to the real time trial. So, hopefully, we the one that actually gets us there. Well, this is definitely getting ridiculous. This is definitely not... Come on, dude, please. We, we seriously need to get three shots in one, one go. That would be nice. Okay. Alright, now, let's start. Let's shoot this thing three times. That would be nice. Thank... Dude, uh, this just isn't gonna happen, is it? It's just not going to. See, I just hate these. I hate these speed runs. Okay, no offense. I love this game, but I hate the speed runs. Okay, I mean these relics are quickly becoming the bane of my existence. You know. You know, I was hoping I would actually, you know, cause it, these relics didn't really seem that bad. You know, as I was going, as I was doing my, my practice run of this game, they didn't seem that bad. You know, but now. Now that we're doing it in the Let's Play, it's, you know, it's even worse since, you know, you're adding the commentary factor to it, so you're not getting distracted, but it's still, it should not be that bad, but it is, apparently. You know, especially in these shooter stages, because you have to focus on not only, you know, going around destroying the targets as fast as you can, but you also gotta make sure and, you know, destroy some of the, the, um, the yellow crates, too. It seems like it, it's just more worth it to just destroy the targets as fast as you can, but, you know, at the same time, it seems like, those yellow crates are a necessity to gain the time. You know, and what's what's most frustrating about this mission is that you can't get you can't seem to get free free shots in one go. You know that that would be really nice if you could do that because I'm really sick and tired of you know, trying to destroy these things in three shots and just not getting it. But here we go. I'm actually gonna do it this. Jeez. Could we possibly be any closer to death at the end of this? Okay, I better got relic. I did, I got gold relic, awesome. That was actually good. That was a lot better than I was hoping for, jeez. Just look at that guy, he continues to shoot it in, in, into nothing. How funny is that? I know it's kind of a small thing to mention, but it was, I just had to mention it. What the heck? Dude. <sighs> okay, so apparently the light in my walk-in closet was on, I don't know why, I forgot to turn that thing off. Damn, things can be eating up electricity really fast if I, if I didn't turn it off faster. All right, tsunami. This is one of the levels where um, to get to the ge the gem, you have to get a gem in another level. You know, it's one of those levels. But um, <clears throat> and, and in order to access the gem, the the colored gem in tsunami, you have to get the blue gem, which is in Arctic Antics, and we already took care of that. So thankfully, you don't have to worry about it this time. So and also on top of that, the 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 secret area of tsunami is actually like located like literally at the end of the level like right after the tsunami like in that same room where the where the warp thing is yeah that's where the that's where the uh, secret secret warp pad thing is but it's transparent until you get the arctic antics blue gem but we already got it, so we're good to go so with coco we're going to ignore the stopwatch because i you know i just i just need a break from those speed runs you know Be that's one thing I like about these colored gem things is that they are, you know, they give us, give us a chance to get a little break from those, you know, those damn speed run thingies. And why I do that? That was that was really dumb, right? I just did there. Did you see what I just did there? Yeah, that was dumb. All right. Um, all right. So since we're up to ten minutes in this episode, I think it would be wise for me to just cut here because uh, I'm definitely I do I definitely am. I just don't want to put you guys through any more, you know, boredom, like, watching me go through the same level over and over again. So I will see you guys at the end of the stage right after the, right after we're done with this uh, tsunami phase here, okay? See you guys there. Okay, guys, we're back. Totally ignoring the awesome forces of the tsunami. Here it is. This is what I was talking about. Notice how it's blue? Yeah, that means they need the blue gem and Arctic Antics to get to it, okay. I'm pretty sure we've already explained this enough, but here it is. 
So basically, um, this secret stage is actually... It takes place in the aftermath of the tsunami. So basically what this means is that you get to actually explore the level in the aftermath of the tsunami. And why I die there. Well, that's that's fine. At least at least they put you right close to the gym. You know, it's not, it's not that big a deal. And if you die, you can still do it over again. So that's really nice. It's another thing I like about these, you know? You don't have to go go all the way back through the level again just to get up to this point again. You can just do that. It's also recommended that you dash through here because um, if you don't, um, you're probably not going to have enough momentum to make your jumps here. Because these jumps, some of these jumps are pretty ridiculous. And it seems like you need the double jump to get to them. Even though you don't get that as Coco, because it's one of the abilities that, you know, they stupidly only give to Crash, you know. And that was that was a really bad jump there. Definitely one of the things I would not recommend doing is moving the control stick as you're, you know, bouncing on those things. You know. It's almost like the same thing with doing the, the perfect run in Super Mario Galaxy 2, you know. You don't know if you should show every every fail, but at the same time, you know, it seems like it'd be, it'd be funnier to show all the fails, because, you know, then... You know, it's entertaining, but, you know, at the same time, you don't want people to see the same exact thing over and over again, because after a while, what's entertaining, you know, after seeing it over and over again several times, it won't be so entertaining anymore. anymore. Blah, blah, blah. You know, especially seeing me fail at that same spot over there. Jeez. You know, it's just, it's just one of those things I'm trying to figure out. It's like, what, you know, at what point is it smart to just, you know, stop showing stuff over and over again, you know? That's one of the things I've always I've always tried to figure out, you know, as a Let's Player, and I still haven't figured out to this day, and it's been three years, you know? Of course, then again, in 2010, when I originally started my Let's Plays, I I didn't even do any cutting whatsoever. I just, you know, it was just a matter of just recording the video and then uploading right away. You know, that's all it was. But here, I'm just being really, really stupid. Of course. Because what would an MCG LP be without my stupidity? All right. Yeah, I guess I guess what I could do is just you know just leave the cutting for the relics because you know the relics is where it's just really really bad you know because you know with the relics we're pretty much going through the same stuff you've seen over and over again it's just that well actually well, not necessarily over and over again but what you've seen before you know you've already seen it in my initial run of the level what 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 the hell I bounce I bounce on the enemy that should kill them that should kill him not me. What the hell was that? Ugh. All right, fine. I'll do it again. It's not like it takes that long to get up that far, anyways. You know, it's not a big deal. You know, we're getting better at this slowly, and also on top of that, they just gave us a free Aku Aku. So, you know, they've they already begin to realize that I suck at this, and you know, I guess having the extra Aku Aku won't be so bad. Especially when I get that stupid purple jumping fish. You know what the heck is up with that? Okay. Should have died the moment the moment I touched you, but whatever. All right. Now for this part. This part here is really fun. You can probably see what you gotta do here, and it's not gonna be fun. You don't get a second chance to bounce on these crates, and you don't get a second chance to drown. Ugh. Oh my god, we're already up to that point where you can see the gem up there. So that's that just makes the fails all all the more worse. Jeez, I I, I need to start cutting here. I really need to. But of course I'm not going to. No, I'm just going to keep on keep on talking. And then I'm going to feel, you know, the pressure of keep... I'll meet you guys back where I was. Okay, we're back. Um, I guess maybe here when it would be the best idea just to not do the boost. Yeah, see? See, if you do the boost, you'll be going way too fast through here. So actually, they expect you to not do the boost. Okay, that makes sense. Okay. So, let's carefully make this. Uh, okay. Just about there. Almost there. Come on. Yes! Alright! That was pretty awesome. Not awesome. That was terrible. <laughs> took me f took me all those tries. It cannot be awesome. Maybe it wasn't terrible, I guess. But, you know, it's just... It's definitely not the best run of that bonus area. I will, I will say that. But, here it is, guys. We gotta do the Relic of Tsunami. I'm not looking forward to it again. But I gotta say, if there's one thing I should say... It's that this level is totally fitting for how the weather is, you know, lately here in Washington. Like, not before, the, like, not up until now, sure. I mean, because we just had sun 
for like an entire week now, but now we're starting to see rain starting this weekend. So, you know, this is actually a pretty fitting level. I'm actually kind of glad that I waited until now to do this level, because, you know, up until now it was all sun and, you know, and, and hot what whatnot here in Washington, but now it's just... It's back to the rain that we're used to seeing every single day that I live, that I live here. Nah. I mean, it's not so bad, you know, I'll obviously you get used to it after living here a few years, and... You know, let's just, uh, become invincible. Alright. This is definitely the best... I was gonna say that was the best thing ever, but it's definitely not anymore. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna... I'll just wait until after, uh... Two... Yeah, let's wait until after two attempts to start cutting, because... Yeah, obviously at that point you get the idea how difficult it is. Oh god, I'm starting to be really stupid here. This this is a really good time to not be stupid, don't you think? Don't you think? Okay. Now let's start actually succeeding, suck seeding here. Okay. All right. Not too not too shabby. And now on to tsunami phase. And uh, I think I saw a minute 30 for the developer's time, so if I'm correct, we're pretty much on track to getting at least a gold relic, I think. I could be wrong on that, and knowing me, I de that's definitely the case. So, um, I guess we'll just have to be prepared to get a s sapphire relic, no matter what. Even my fastest time in these levels can only be a sapphire relic, because that's how bad I am. Especially if we're going to die here, you know, which is what it's looking like, because... Oh, never mind. Oh, jeez. 44 seconds, that was actually not bad. Okay, 46, whatever. Close enough. Alright. Sapphire, of course. You know that I, I, I am 100% sure I saw a minute 30 for the developer's time. And if only 46 seconds got me the Sapphire Relic, then the developers must have really sucked at this game. They sucked at their own game that they developed. I mean, that's what it's looking like. That's what people told me, is that, you know, is that that's what those are, is developer time. Look at this, a minute 20 for smoking the Bandicoot. Mine's probably going to be a lot less than that, but I'm still going to get a Sapphire Relic. I mean, that's, that's pretty much the way it looks. So, um... Anyways, with that taken care of, I will see you guys next time on Let's Play Crash Bandicoot The Wrath of Cortex. Um, not exactly sure what we'll be doing next, so I'll probably just look at the quests again. Again, you guys don't always have to request levels, because eventually you're going to get to a point where it's going to be, like, pretty obvious what levels to do next, you know, because there'll be... We're already starting to get a point where we're very limited on levels, so, anyways, uh... Yeah, that's going to be it for today's episode, okay? I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching, and I hope you guys had a... Whoa. Whoa, whoa, do not load. That would be the mis that would be the reason why I somehow did not get um See, this is the reason why this is how actually I ended up not having like saved after after getting the gem the the stuff in compactor reactor and uh Jeez, what am I trying to say here? H2 Ono, yeah. See, what happened was I accidentally went up here and I I accidentally press load instead of save. That's why I had to do those levels over again. It's not because I forgot to save, it's because I accidentally loaded. And I loaded the previous file, which was supposed to be overwritten, but it wasn't. But anyways, yeah, here it is. This, we're now at 78% and so on. So, thanks for watching episode 23 or 24. I don't... I'm getting to the point where I'm, where I'm not keeping track anymore. So, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.